Hi Gemini. Your monthly tarot cards reading by M for October 2023. And you have Page of Pentacles. The Lovers. Page of Wands. Seven of Swords. Influenced by Page of Cups, three pages we have here in October. Anyway, I'm going to comment on it just now. Okay, Page of Pentacles, paid with the Two of Cups, the Lovers, with the Queen of Pentacles, Page of Wands, with the Two of Pentacles, and Seven of Swords with the Queen of Wands. So page of cups and the fool, your influencing energies. Look, all the energies from September and even here in October are very young. Fool, three pages, um, twice we have number two. You see what I'm saying? All at the very, very beginning. It's just about to be established, okay? Now, perhaps this is something very optimistic, okay? Both of them are kind of expecting who knows what. Um, neither of these can confirm any of this idea, can see practicality, can go through practicalities. Um, neither of these has plans or something. That energy comes from September. It's just a vision. It's just a feeling. Oh, this I like. And, you know, it will change my life. And I am ready to do it. And I will do it no matter what. And just like that. Now, how to? What? With who? Do you mean? I mean, it's not, it, it wasn't part of this energy from September, but excitement, good feeling about something. It, it's mostly like a gut feeling that it's going to be fine. You're just supposed to carry on and it's going to be fine. Just take a leap of faith, go for it, it will be all right, don't worry. Kind of in that sense, perhaps, feelings from September. And then, first week of October, with Page of Pentacles, says something is on the ground. Okay, we love this page. Because knows something, knows how to, what to do, what to learn, what to study, what is first to be done, so it is going to develop later. Like we do have the, the guy who is sowing the seeds, okay? That is the first step, okay? Perhaps you even didn't know what is your first step earlier on. It was just a, that excitement about some sort of change that you have to make. You have to change, big time change, your life, to make it happier, to make it successful, to make it I don't know what. Now, first week of October, you know how to. That what I'm pointing at with this page of pentacles. That is very important. You know what to do, what seeds to sow. So you will have some success, some money, something later on. You see what I'm saying? That was very, very important for you to make up your mind. What is really the thing? which I am going to do to make me successful, to bring me money, to make my business thrive or something like that. You will be endlessly happy because of that. Two of Cups within you, I kind of feel it's all about you. Um, even though we do have lovers here as well in this reading, might indicate relationship. But I kind of have this feeling that it is all about you. You being happy about yourself that finally you know what you're supposed to do to make this big change, to make yourself happy, finally. I mean, you were ready to do something, to uh, go into action, to make big change, but you didn't know with what, what exactly I'm supposed to do, what type of business, what I'm supposed to learn, what I'm supposed to do. That wasn't, you know, known to you like earlier on. Now that what you know and that what you are happy with, okay? That why you are happy with yourself. I really believe Two of Cups, first week of October, Gemini, is you being very, very happy with yourself. This is also you. The lover's energy often represents you. This is Gemini card. I kind of feel you happy self because you know. Now if I do this, if I learn this, if I that what I know now, first week of October, that is opening big time 
opportunity for me, for my life, for my business. Look at Queen of Pentacles is energy within you. You are grounding this idea. This idea from first week of October, you are grounding that will bring you success and that is a certain, you will be certain self about that what you are beginning now, that what you begin to learn. Often, Page of Pentacles is learner. Or you're going to begin your new business. You're going to start something practically to do. This is being practical, something which is supposed to bring you money, business which you're going to start. You didn't know which business I'm going to start, what I'm going to do. Now you know, you're grounding yourself, your certain self, this will bring you money, this will bring you success, this is opening up different era in your life, this is decision, this is choice, this is betterment, this is another higher level in your life. You are bringing yourself to a higher level and I really believe in your career, in your business, that part of your life is now developing and developing for sure. You know how, you know what you're supposed to learn, what you're supposed to do, what seeds to sow out there. So you will have this business established, you will have yourself established as a business person. You see what I'm saying? You are very satisfied with yourself because now you know what you're supposed to do. Very lovely. Now yet another page, but page of wands is again youthful energy, but we are talking new territory, we are talking eagerness to do, to begin, to start immediately, you see what I'm saying? But you might be lacking money third week of October in order to achieve that what you want, you know for sure you can, okay, this is certain, this is definitely certain, that what you have on your mind, that will bring you success, that will establish good business for you, prosperous business for you, and you are ready self, you can wait to do it, but you cannot because perhaps you are lacking money, or maybe you have to learn something, so you have to give yourself some time, this is kind of a bit of a no man's land you're gonna feel right now. Yes, you've got concrete idea what are you creating from now on. That is established, that's fine. But for some reason, you have to wait a little bit, okay? This is passive energy. Third week of October says you have to wait. Either money to receive, either some go ahead, or I don't know, you are nervous here, you know, juggling this and that. Maybe you do have some sort of job which you have to complete first before you start this new, maybe something like that, some sort of obligations, you cannot now start something new unless you have completed that what you are already doing. Might also be for some of you something like that. But this is, um, as I said, slightly uncomfortable, nervous energy. Oh, you can't wait for this to get out of your way so you can finally go after that. What you know will, is, will bring you success, will bring you prosperity. But, as I said, Passivity is here, you have to wait, like it or not, some decision to make, some new situation to arrive, situation to change for you, okay, to give you go ahead so you can move on, so you can build, not in this third week of October. Now, my impression is that you will not move on with your ideas, with that what you have established, okay? You will not move forward till the end of the month, okay? Maybe in November, but not until end of October. Even though you are very happy self, you are ready. I mean, nothing wrong. I don't see that you are struggling here. I don't see that you have doubts. At contrary, you've got Queen of uh, uh, Wands within yourself. This is lovely energy, suits you very well, okay? Even though it's a... Um, fire energy, but it's exciting, okay, goes well, goes well with your temper, Gemini, okay, this is a great idea about your future, this is something which you will establish, this is something which you will create, you will create, okay, you were ready, very young energy here, uh, uh, third week of October, just ready, passive energy, eager, ready to go and do it, now, Queen of Wands is you, much more mature, you are brave self, you don't have a fear, you know, 
you know for sure that you will create this business. You felt that even even second week of October. Now you are confirming that idea that you will create. That will be meaningful for your future. Very important energy for your future. This queen of wands. Exciting. Great. Eccentric. Will go. Will do. Fearless. Okay. You will do it. Lovely. That's all about you. That's why I'm saying nothing wrong that is happening here, even though we have seven of swords. It seems to me that what you've been doing, I think with two of pentacles, we might actually refer on the situation which you were busy with, engaged with, um, which you were part of. Seven of swords will leave it behind. It seems to me you're not going to have patience to... I don't know, wait for things to finish, to come to an end, or to agree upon, or, you know, you're not going to have nerve for, for that at all. I mean, you will just decide, now I'm leaving it, I'm going to abandon it, and that's it, and I have no use of that what was, of that relationship, business, career, something you were busy with, and you are replacing it with something else. By the end of the month, you will just leave it behind. You will move on to create this exciting, this great, this one which you were ready for. You see what I'm saying? You will go for it. Simply, you're going to abandon that what you were busy with. It's not worth wasting time with okay that's why i think this seven of swords it's just you just deciding no i'm not waiting anymore i don't have nerve for that anymore i am going to create this exciting future for myself not gonna waste my time with that what was not anymore very lovely i really like this october for you gemini enjoy it